Good morning, Lake Gibson. I'm Shelby. And I'm Rachel. Greetings from the 15th Annual Pig Fest here at Tigertown. On today's show, we'll learn more about this barbecue festival that raises money for local charities. We also have the FCAT question of the day in our brain strain. And you'll find out why it's so important to wear red in today's Healthy Helpings. TSC reporter Richie Sloan is here with us today. How's it going, Richie? Hey guys, I'm here at Pig Fest and I've done a lot of research. It looks like you have some of that research all over your face. Oops, you caught me. But yeah, I do have a lot of information for you. We can't wait to see what you found out. Take it away, Richie. An annual tradition was born in 1997 when Pig Fest was first held here in Lakeland. Then, in 2004, there was a kids' barbecue contest added, and in 2008, officials added Friday night festivities. But this year at Pig Fest, there's something for everyone. There's NASCAR simulators, live music, and even a kids' playground sponsored by Legoland. But the star of the show is the barbecue, and Pig Fest has been recognized as one of the biggest barbecue events in the U.S. Teams come from all over the country to compete in four categories, chicken, pork, brisket, and ribs. Well, it's my first time here, so uh, I'm very impressed. They have lots and lots of customers out here. And uh, since we're a new company, we're only a new restaurant. I would say we're a year and a half old, so we're trying to get our name out there. And Pig Fest is, has been one of those outlets that we have to spread our name. While some are experiencing their first Pig Fest, Pink Butts Barbecue is back again this year, cooking delicious food for a very special cause. Uh, we got into the Pig Fest a couple years ago. We put together a cancer cooking barbecue team. Our team is composed of many cancer survivors. And uh, this is our second year out here doing the Pig Fest. And it's been, been a great experience. And we brought in a lot of great volunteers, family members, a lot of cancer survivors. And it's all for a good cause. All of our dollars are donated back to cancer research. Pig Fest is a fun time for the young and the young at heart. It's a chance to try different food. I love barbecue and there's a lot of different things to see and there's a lot of games and things to do. It's just a good opportunity to come out and have a good time. And what do the little ones like best about Pig Fest? The game and the funnel cake. Over the past 14 years, Pig Fest has helped raise over half a million dollars for local charities. And this year, the organizers have teamed up with the Junior League of Greater Lakeland to try and donate even more for those in need in our community. Richie Sloan, TSC News. Thanks, Richie, for all that great info about Pig Fest. Now it's time for some news and the announcements. We can see all of that in today's Shark Scoop. Good morning, LG students and staff. I'm Lauren, and here are today's school announcements. Did you know that one in three homeless people are under the age of 18? Next week is the last week to bring your gently worn jeans into Ms. Chavez's room, room 301 for the Teens for Jeans campaign. The sixth grade E-team will be meeting Monday morning at 8 in Ms. Tucker's room. Now here's this week's Classroom Shuffle. Welcome to this week's Classroom Shuffle. Ms. Cooper's critical thinking classes have been busy creating robots. After they finished their wonderful creations, they presented them to the class. FFA members spent last week participating in the Youth Fair in Bartow. All of their hard work paid off with winning ribbons. Jayla Williams, TSC News. Can you believe it? We're already into February. FCAT will be here before we know it. That's true, but relax. We'll be totally prepared for the FCAT test. How can you be so sure? Because we practice in our classrooms and each and every Friday with our brain strain feature. You're right. TSC reporter Megan Williams loves helping us get ready for the big test. Here she is now with today's brain strain. Welcome back, Lake Gibson. I'm your host, Megan, here with another episode of The Brain Strain. We have 65 days till FCAT, and by the time you're done, I'm sure your scores will be as good as the barbecue. By the way, today's question is a math question. This Venn diagram shows the amount of people eating three different types of barbecue at Pig Fest. How many people are eating chicken and ribs, but not pork? A, five, B, six, or C, eight? Ready, set, strain that brain. The answer is B, 6. I bet you got it right. Stay tuned for next week's edition of The Brain Strain. Megan Williams, TSC News. 
I'm so excited, I got the answer right. See, I told you not to worry. We're getting one step closer to passing the FCAT test. You know what else we're getting closer to? Of course I do. All of that delicious barbecue. No, Shelby, I meant we're getting closer to today's Hot Topic question with TSC reporter Angel Williams. Right. Here's today's Hot Topic. Pig Fest is a great place to try barbecue from a large variety of growing experts. But the problem is it only comes around once a year. Polk County teams love to seek their teeth into delicious barbecue such as ribs, chicken, and pork. So today's Hot Topic question asks, where do you go in Lakeland for the best barbecue? I like to eat barbecue at Applebee's because it's good. My favorite place to eat uh, barbecue is the Whip House. I like to eat barbecue at Golden Corral because it's all you can eat buffet. My favorite place to eat barbecue at is my backyard because it's close and delicious. My favorite place to eat barbecue is Danny's because it's tasty. My favorite place to eat is at Champs because they have an arcade there and I like their wings. Thanks to all of you who shared your favorite restaurants with us. Maybe I'll see you at one of those places this weekend. Age Williams, TSE News. I'm going to have to visit those barbecue places later our classmates talked about. That sounds like a great idea. Speaking of classmates, TSC reporters Carrie and Bailey are ready to tell us about today's Go Red for Women Day. Good morning, Sharks. I'm Carrie. And I'm Bailey. And today's a very important day here on Healthy Helping. That's right. It's the American Heart Association's National Go Red for Women Day, which explains all of our fabulous red clothing. Heart disease is the number one killer of women, taking the life of one out of three women each year. But there are some things we can do in the fight against heart disease. Be active. By getting at least 150 minutes of physical activity each week, you can reduce your risk of heart disease. Eat a healthy diet. The American Heart Association recommends vegetables and fruits and unrefined whole grain foods. Plus, they urge everyone to eat fish such as salmon, trout, and herring at least twice a week. Don't smoke. This is the most preventable major risk factor of heart and blood vessel diseases. You can learn more about these programs at goredforwomen.org slash wearreddy. I'm Bailey. And I'm Carrie. Now back to Shelby and Rachel as they're having fun at PigFest. Thanks, Carrie and Bailey, for that important report. That's it for today's edition of TSC News at PigFest from Tigertown. You know what that means, Rachel. We get to eat barbecue. Hope you enjoyed our show. Tune in next week for more shows about roller coasters, endangered animals, and Valentine's Day. I'm Shelby. And I'm Rachel. Don't, Don't eat that spare rib yet. Channel 1 News is coming up next.